Well, hello monkeys. Today's circus, we're going to be bringing you the Spyderco Native Chief. No messing around, no funny stuff, no funky monkey, none of that. Just a big old Spyderco. I don't know that they make anything any bigger than this. Uh, in terms of folding knives, because let me tell you, look at all that extra space back there. This thing has multiple grip levels, so, whoo, yeah, that blade is over four inches long. This one happens to be in Rex 45 steel, CPM Rex 45 by Crucible Industries. This one in from Brother Ninja, JN, thank you, my brother, for letting me borrow this one. You may have seen this one over on Shane Gable's PKR. Seen it over on his channel a while back. Brother Ninja had also let him borrow it so he could take a look at it. Brother Ninja, one of many awesome friends of this community. Thank you, my friend. This thing has been a real treat to get to know. Let's put that down. So I can take you for a look around. Standard issue Spyderco packaging. There you go. That's it. And let me tell you, this thing is a beauty. This thing is actually not nearly as much of a pocket hog as most Spydercos, which amazes me for as big as this thing is, man. This is one of the made in America Spydercos. Sal's maker mark. Eric's Maker Mark up here by Golden, Colorado. So this is one that both of them co-designed. Yeah. Did you catch that for a lockback? This thing is kind of fidgety. I'm not going to sit here and spidey drop Ninja's knife or anything, but I'm pretty sure I could do it. Um, yeah, the, the length and the, the mass on that blade, even though it's got a distal taper out here to the tip, that tip is fairly delicate overall but uh the rex 45 steel is a beast i looked at the data on this and uh let me tell you no joke this thing feather sticked like a beast that's the one thing i was curious to see if it was going to be a, as good at as i thought it would be and man was it we tore up a few sticks i'll take a picture insert a picture of a one one or two of them i made um yeah, Ninja. Um, I get why you love this platform, brother. Uh, if this were a compression, if they ever make a compression lock of this, I am so on it. Even as a lockback, it's, like I said, it's almost fidgety enough for me, just like the Native 5 was. And let me tell you, it's got the peel ply, kind of burn orange, G10. Oh, that's omnidirectional. <laughs> pocket clip standard issue deep carry pocket clip same thing as you get for the shaman or whatever but let me tell you i don't think i have anything that is a good size comparison knife for this thing let me uh let's go straight to the theater of the absurd because that's where we're at here well i guess the the crkt isn't as far off as i thought they'd be you got maybe a quarter inch down here not bad War Spear, let me get the word salad right or the letter alphabet soup right on this one. The WP501T. Have to look at the box every time I pull this one out. Again, you know, just a little bit down here in the blade. But that's that's a testament to how long and narrow that blade gets, man. That thing is excellent for slicing tasks. Like I said, it made an amazing feather sticking knife. But at the end of the day, is it for you? That is a hell of a question. Um, I tell you what, let's throw a couple of spider coes up here, including a very large one. I consider fairly large. The Shaman. And the pair of three. 
don't have a pair of two, but that one gets you closer to the area. It's a little bit shy of the shaman here. One more spider co for now. And that is the Sage 5, so getting smaller and smaller. And that's why we're going to stop there with the spider co's and bust out. Wow, wow! The Orion Solaris. So, yeah, you, you're still getting the feeling that this thing's huge. And if that's in the neighborhood, you know, so is the Hogue K320. And then, just because it's one a lot of people have, bug out. Mini bug out with orange accents. That looks good. So I tell you what, let's leave that there. And drop in that LT right little mop. Because that's what this would look like in my EDC rotation. And other than that knife, I actually carried this EDC rotation. Let me show you the exact rotation. There you go. That's the exact rotation I carried. So two spiders and the LT right. And let me tell you, nothing to worry about. I could have done anything on that day. It felt like a bulletproof carry. And let me tell you, two super steels and an amazing little fixed blade. I was on top of the world that day. This is an amazing knife. Would I buy this knife with my own money? Absolutely. Absolutely. Especially in um, an upgraded steel, you know, better colorway. I, I think I might be all over this. Um, that S90V carbon fiber version they had a while back, I really wish I would have caught one of those. But yes, would I recommend you buy one of these? Of course, if this, if you need a four inch slicey, pokey, very capable blade, especially in a steel like this, this Rex 45, oh man, you're gonna be able to do whatever you need to do with this knife. If this is the knife that has a shape that does what you need it to do, slicing, piercing, that's this thing. If you, you gotta pay attention to that delicate tip. Even in a super steel, this is, you know, it's still a delicate tip. You don't want to end up having to turn this into a sheep's foot, or do you? <laughs> Maybe so. Anyway, this is an awesome little platform. This is a very capable knife, and this is a knife that, honestly, I think is a good value in terms of the American-made Spyderco line. So, go check it out. It's on the Spyderco site if you're op focus qualified. Grab it there. Uh, the standard model was just in yesterday when I looked, pulling up uh, information about this, if there was anything special I should know, but... It is exactly what you see. It is a lock back. It is an amazingly large handle with a front choil and still get a four inch blade out of it. I don't know what else you need. If you got any questions about it that I didn't answer, I don't want to get into specs and all that. They're all over the internet. You can get them there. I'm just giving you my thoughts on it, my kind of short term use impressions. And let me tell you, I have thus far not been disappointed by a spider co there are some that weren't exactly what i wanted out of them but some of that was ergos some of it was me stretching to find something that wasn't what i really needed that knife for but i have never been less than impressed with the quality and the performance of my spider co knives that's why i can't think of a single one i wouldn't recommend if it's the type of knife you need because this thing was thin, slicey, just absolutely long before a lot of the small companies who are out there getting recognized for it now. Oh, this knife is so slicey and thin, and man, Spyderco's been doing it for a long time, so props, 
you know, credit where credit is due. Good on you, Sal and Eric, Spider Co. family. I think you do a great job. I think you knock it out of the box darn near every time. That's what I got for you today. So if you disagree, disagree. Feel free to leave a message down in the comments. Try not to be an ass about it. And until I see you again, and I do hope I see you again, stay well, be kind, do good. That's it. Me and this native chief are going to go out and start a fire. This is Grumpy, and I'm out.